Yeah, last one. <laughs> okay. So last man standing, basically like I say, tech team. Uh, what was I thinking? Imola Shubia! Photo, huh? I wasn't my Do this, yeah. Next slide, previous slide. Right. Have fun. Okay, good evening, friends. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Not going to teach you how to set up WordPress. Uh, I'm just here to share a story. Uh, just an experience. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, so, how many of you have seen this? Some of you have seen it. It's a uh, very basic infographic I did like last year. Uh, this. Uh, Basically, started as a random idea. Uh, I started seeing a lot of uh, blogs being shared about uh, tips on how to deal with the tear gas. And uh, that's after the uh, Egypt revolution. And then, uh, relations were sharing it on Twitter because of Spursit. Uh, so, I, I went to all these pages and I saw most of its sites had like this much of content and this much of ads. And most of it like not readable, the fonts were like shit. So, I thought, let's make something nice, uh, easy to read and all that with nice graphics. So I put this up, and uh, well, actually my wife was upset. She was like, "Why are you wasting time with stuff like this? You should be working on uh, your clients' projects." Uh, <laughs> she was like, "No, why are you wasting time?" Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the topic of the day. Time wasting projects and uh, well, someone's missing well, due to the conversion. Yeah. Yeah, it's time wasting projects and why I do that. Uh, that's you can follow me on Twitter. I blog at imraj.com. I mean, it's just that Pixar works got a comment, am I? It's fun. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, karaoke. Okay. Nothing much. <laughs> so back to the story. So that's how it started. So uh, I put this up, and uh, within like one two days, I started getting like kids, 10 people shared, and 20 people shared. It's very exciting. Because you know, when you design like, websites for clients, and like tens of thousands of hits, it's not the same feeling. This is something that you do for yourself, you put it up. I was an active blogger, so I don't make like content for myself. That was fun. And like within, I think, Two days it reached like 100 shares on Facebook, and now it's like much more. So I'm very excited. And then, uh, still, uh, my wife was like, still asking, what's the point of this? You don't have any ads on it. So, you know, it's going viral, like, people are liking it, people are sharing it. What was the point? I said, you know, don't bother, like, it's just for fun. I mean, it's just like one page thing anyway. So you said it. But then I was excited because of the, you know, a lot of people sharing every day, I was like very uh, active, although the number was not that big. It was like 100 shares. And I didn't actually put a tracking code either. I didn't like, I wasn't like monitoring the traffic. So I was just going based on the Facebook shares. So I was very uh, inspired, so I made a second one. <laughs> <laughs> so this was Edith's back, uh, it was much uh, I thought it looked good, but uh, no one really knew shit. Uh, nobody, I mean, this is much later. Uh, when I first put it up, I think about three people shared it, and, and that was it. So nobody was really interested. I don't even think my wife shared it on Facebook. Uh, so I was like, I'm oh, broken, like, oh, I get some shares. But uh, about uh, a week after that, I thought I want to do something for Per Se uh, 2.0 campaign. Okay, uh, you know, I liked the whatever demands that Per Se had, but I didn't agree with the street demonstrations. So I wanted to like, contribute to the online campaign. Uh, so I decided to make this. Uh, so this is pretty much very simple stuff. Uh, demands of Per Se and some other groups, uh, what they're doing. <laughs> and, <it kind> of <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I tried to make it funny, uh, so I put some funny looking pictures. <laughs> and then I went to sleep. Uh, I think I, I did it like 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I put it up, I went to sleep. Uh, and then I woke up the next morning, and I didn't give a shit. And I think that night I checked it, so it was like about more than 24 hours later. And there was like 2,000 shares on Facebook, the Facebook shares. So it was like very shocking. I was genuinely surprised. And then I went to the, the analytics, and then there's Google <coughs> Analytics. So it was like. <coughs> So for me, that was big. I know, like, for some of you, this is like chicken shit, right? <laughs> so for one side, it was pretty much, uh, you can see here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a dead blog that uh, I wasn't updating at under Uh So this was like huge. So I was very excited. And not towards the end of the year, I think it went up to. <laughs> <laughs> It's like little bits, I think every time there's this Occupy Oakland and Occupy shit in the US, the TKS one. But uh, the 9th July was still the popular owner. But I think all the traffic came within that one, two weeks. Uh, so, great traffic for me, relatively, right? But I mean, there are no ads, no banners, no sponsor links. 
my wife pointed that out again. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm so excited, like, oh, all this traffic and people are sharing. I mean, not a blogger, so no big deal, huh? And she's like, uh, what's the point of this again? You should be really uh, doing work that brings money. <laughs> but you know, uh, that wasn't the end of it. Uh, the story is, uh, after about a week after Bursley, started getting a lot of calls from uh, people from my business, Pizza Works. Uh, some were ex-clients, some were people that I met like a year ago, gave quotation, they never wanted to call me back. <laughs> some were like new prospects, where I never knew like who they are. And all these people called me and there were so many appointments that I scheduled. So I was like, no, I didn't like really connect the dots. Uh, but then as I was meeting all these people one after another, I started noticing that they all brought up this idiot's guy. So they all mentioned it in the conversations. So then I kind of like, okay, it reminded them of me. So although I didn't put like any links, direct links to my business, it was just linked to my blog. So there was no like any other links to my Pixar Books website, which is my web design business. Uh, I still started getting all these uh, referrals. Uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, and within like the next one month, I can safely say I managed to secure about like 50,000 other projects uh, based on, like, I can directly attribute to this, uh, to the idiot's guy. I was still getting like projects from other sources, mm -hmm. but these were the ones that I can already know that uh, the, the idiot's guy was mentioned. So that was like pretty exciting, so I was really happy. Then like, I told my wife, it kind of still works, you know? Uh, karma points. <laughs> no Google Ads, but karma works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess it brings it. So that's, there's no moral to the story actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thought that I wanted to share. Uh, that if you do something sincerely, I guess, you know, <coughs> karma will help you out in the end. Uh, you don't have to do everything with a reason, with a hidden agenda, with a monetization plan, or, you know, with ads and stuff. Sometimes you just do something because it's you're going to help someone, or you do something because you support a cause. And uh, why I think this is relevant to webcam because I see a lot of collaboration going on within webcam. A lot of members like, you know, help each other. Some, you know, they exchange money, some uh, trade skills. And we also do that in Open Coffee Club. And uh, Walter, Felix and I uh, facilitate this group called the Open Coffee Club. It's for startup founders. It's like an offshoot of webcam. Uh, even there, we uh, encourage this a lot. We encourage the members to share their skills and uh, skills trading. But, you know, that aside, you can also do things for no reason. You don't have to do something for people just because you want them to do something for you uh, in return. You can always do something just for fun of it or just because you like what they do. And somehow it may, I mean, I've done a lot of time wasting projects on web stuff, <laughs> yes. It's benefited me in many ways, whether it's something web related. So I thought I'd just share with you uh, all of you. And that's pretty much mm -hmm. the end of my presentation. <laughs> That was one of the most inspiring, <laughs> unmotivated <laughs> talk. <laughs> Do something. No it, has, just, it has just to be fun. Just to be fun. <laughs>